know, this has been my world lately. We're along the highway. Um, earlier today, Gavin, um, I was in the deeper end along the pipeline route. This is not the route anymore. I finished the Southern Reliability Link. Um, but it was foggy, misty. Um, Walking backwards. <laughs> and actually, I do walk backwards sometimes to, to change it up on my muscles because today is actually the uh, day that I will have walked the most of my ever. I think within 24 hours, the most I ever walked was 32 miles. And so today is going to be 37 miles, possibly more if we go to Allen Avery's house. It's just, uh, it's not in the interest of the people of Chesterfield or of Burlington County or of New Jersey in general, whether it's Ocean County. Burlington County, some of the pipeline borders, Monmouth County, um, it's not in the interest of anybody in New Jersey because it's not for New Jersey. It's gas that's fracked in Pennsylvania. We don't know its ultimate destination, they're not telling it, but there's a lot of presumptions that I think might be accurate that it's going to be shipped overseas or to somewhere so else in the United States. Overseas, I wonder if you could go into more detail on that. Is this going to be something like they're going to run across the Barnea Bay? How are they going to do this, shipping it overseas? Well, they haven't revealed yet. I mean, New Jersey's not known for being, we're mostly an importer of goods, just like the United States in general, which has its own problems. Now, let me ask you about the local officials here. Yeah. Today, uh, at the Ocean County Freeholder meeting, you are going to ask the freeholders not to reappoint Alan Avery to the pilot's position. Why is that? Well, not only to not reappoint him, but to dismiss him before his uh, term is up. I believe his term is up in June of 2018. Um, that's a long time for this pipeline to be approved before that. We do not want this pipeline approved. He's shown a track record by approving the previous pipeline, um, the one further down in the Pinelands that I believe is South the Jersey LA gas. The, yeah, the one that goes to the, the coal plant. Um, I'm not completely familiar with the details. My walk will actually take me there later and I'm going to get briefed on it. But he already has a track record of supporting pipelines in New Jersey and that's not what we need so what it's not worth giving them a second chance. How, how do you think the freeholders are going to respond to this because Mr. Avery is someone with deep political connections to Ocean County government you're going to ask freeholder director Vicari along with the rest of the freeholder board to dismiss him because they are as a county in the Pinelands area allowed to appoint one of these representatives to the Pinelands Commission you think they're going to be receptive to that? No, I think they're going to see me as an imposter, and that's fine, you know, but that's why I have the media with me. I have, um, trying to grow this as much as possible, this movement, and it's not me. I'm just a small part of it. I just kind of aligned with it, my carless aspect. I'm also against fossil fuels in general. But, uh, we're doing our best to have the people, their constituents, who they're supposed to represent, and who they're ultimately supposed to be beholden to, if we could arouse enough um, awareness of what this pipeline really represents, not the propaganda, but the actual dangers that will be there. Um, maybe we can have them change their mind and they dismiss Avery. We gotta at least try. I mean, future generations are at stake. Carlos Basic, Six Co Place, Freelboro. Um, as of 12 a.m. this morning, so I shouldn't say last night, this morning I was actually a resident of Burlington County and Ocean County. I actually went to the gas compressor station 12 a.m., started a walk along the whole proposed pipeline route starting at the gas compressor station, and I got to the end and I stole some energy, so I walked seven more miles to come here and talk to you. Um, so 37 miles in all, so wow, I, man, okay. I did all that, um, and I liked what I saw, I liked what I heard. I was going through the middle of the night, 12 a.m., it's dark, but things are alive. We might be asleep, but there's a lot living in that land, um, and it's uh, <coughs> part of the Pinelands, some of it in Burlington County are part of other protected sites, but uh, I see that it's all now under threat. Um, because of this proposed pipeline. 
So what can we do about it? Um, I'm up here. I understand that you there's statutory it'd be setting precedents to rescind or dismiss somebody, but you are lawmakers. You were put up here to have power to create laws. <coughs> so when you really when the people really say use it, use it. I mean, is he doing his job right, Alan Avery, if he's uh, letting pipelines come through that would threaten the aquifer. I don't know. You know, I'm not an Ocean County resident, I'm not a Burlington County resident, but I'm a resident of the earth. And these pipelines around the world, especially ones with fracked gas, are very dangerous. So um, I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm sleep deprived. You know, for good reason. We understand, Mr. Freeholder. Yes. <laughs> we, we don't have that endurance as you do. Um, it, it took a lot of work. Um, Thank you very much. But I do want to say that I'm not fooled, but even I am sleepy. Um, I'm still not fooled that these pipelines are a good idea. You, dir uh, director, said. Uh, earlier of the program that Mr. Bartlett brought up, Mr. Bartlett, you said you want to protect our land for future generations. Which we have done. Okay, no, and you are doing it. But uh, Manchester, uh, the town, I don't believe it's in the Pinelands. That's a that's something maybe you could get involved with to stop the pipe, pipe, pipeline there. It's in the it's in but the it's pipeline. also its own municipality. So maybe your power could do something to stop that. Um, and lastly, uh, I just want to, in your envelopes, I want the public to see it as well, to just get a feeling, because I'm up here babbling. I gave up a day and probably 10,000 calories to get here. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really what's at stake. It boils down to this. These pictures are the same one, and you have actually pristine copies. These say it all. It's become a choice. Look at that pipeline and look at that pregnant mother. Okay, can we say it? Can we say it? Okay. Yes, there you go. Oh, I didn't say envelopes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's become almost mutually exclusive. We have a choice. We could be pro life or we could be pro corporation. All right? That choice is not just for you, it's for the whole country. But you can make real impact right now by doing the right thing for the future generations and reconsidering this uh, votes on this pipeline and who the Highlands Commissioner is. Sorry, I'm not used to all these different levels of power. We can't reconsider the vote you, on the pipeline. We you have legislative power. You can set positive presidents. I wouldn't see it as a dictatorship. I think you get the applause of all the people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for your time.